hello guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well so today i thought i would do a video that i haven't filmed in a little while i think it must be two or three years i'll link my previous one down below and also can we address the in my room the patchy ass flaky tan i am gonna have a bath tonight and get that washed off because it is done but yes i'm well aware but yeah I thought today I would do a updated my piercings video. As I said, I'm gonna link my previous one down below because it's been quite a while and I have new ones and I've taken some out since that video. So I thought what better way to do a updated one than now because I do have a new piercing that's only a week old. Ooh. But yeah, if you would like to see my piercings, then stay tuned. Okay. I'm going to start off just with the same one that I had. This one hasn't moved. It is the belly button. It is um, very old. I won't lie. Um, I've had that done for many, many, many years. And I've had no bother with it whatsoever. It was never an issue for me. It healed really well. And yeah, that one I didn't have any problems with at all. My lobes are still here, they're still there, um, I had those done when I was a child, actually at a handbag stall with a gun, so yeah, cheers mother, you know, god knows what could have happened, but yeah, second ones are still in, I'm actually going to zoom in here, second ones are still in, I got those done I think when I was 15, um, and they were fine because obviously it's a low piercing so it doesn't really hurt we'll come back to that factor but yeah so the seconds are still in now newish piercings which was of January 2021 I do have a TikTok of myself doing this I'll leave my TikTok on the screen for you guys but I did pierce my thirds myself so if you zoom into this here you can see here these ones are pierced i did those myself from using the guns from amazon that everyone was using on tiktok i do not recommend that obviously i'm not here to say yeah go and pierce yourself it'll be great um it didn't really hurt to be honest and and healing time was fine again because it is a lobe piercing so yeah thirds were fine not too bad at all um i do have both of my tragus done i have both of those done it was quite nippy to be honest um healing time was fine but it was quite nippy just because of where it is so the pressure see when you smile obviously it moves and whatnot and yeah it was nippy but it was absolutely fine i've also had my day done had my day done oh god it's been years to be honest um and i've still got the same kind of jewelry in it which was a love heart because i absolutely loved it i had no problem with that healing either it healed exceptionally well it wasn't particularly so um I've had that done for years and I've never had an issue with it considering how thick the cartilage is. Um, I've had my conch pierced, which is this one, so it's straight through here. Again, I thought that that would be really, really painful, but it wasn't. And to be honest, healing with that was easier than I thought, but it is one that would give me... A little bit of jip if you sleep on it funny so i did have the bar in it and then took it out and put a hoop in it but i think i'm going to put a bar back in it i find it a little bit easier than using the hoop but i would say the healing process with this was a lot better than what i had thought it was going to be so it wasn't particularly painful or anything um, i did have this one done to create triangles which is this little one here you guys see this one 
just creates that little triangle it's very pinteresty um i would say that was nippy enough don't ask me why because it's a lobe but i find that a little bit more painful than like my day and stuff but yeah so i've had that done that that's probably on the newer side i would say but yeah it was absolutely fine and then my newish piercing that has been done now a little over a week is i got my rook pierced so remember guys this is very new it's just over a week old but here here she is i just got a plain bar it's absolutely fine at the minute same as the death it wasn't particularly sore um healing with it has been absolutely fine i haven't had any problems with it i'm um, sleeping i didn't sleep on it for a week i always slept on this side but now as we've hit the week mark and over i've been able to sleep on that side a little bit better but don't get me wrong i couldn't ever have a deep sleep on it because i feel like i can feel it nipping slightly um but yeah pain wise very little or maybe considering it's such thick cartilage it was absolutely fine um regarding piercings that i removed um i had my shenman done i got rid of that my body hated it it didn't settle it got infected was pus in it it was inflamed it was swollen i just thought you know what when your body is saying take me out it's obviously rejecting me do it there's no point in keeping that in because it's never going to settle it's never gonna look cute because your body hates it so i did remove the shenman to be honest i don't regret it plus where i wore my glasses it was hitting on the back of it it just wasn't settling for me so i took that out i did have both nipples pierced again i have removed those i removed those um because i was sat there one day absolutely fine and the, the pain in my right one was a really strong shooting pain like really strong i was sat in work and i actually had to go to then the bathroom catch my breath a little bit and have a little look what i was looking at and you know your nipple is obviously round so say you cut it in half this bit here was so swollen the top part wasn't but the bottom part was incredibly incredibly swollen um it looked like it was just full of fluid um so i did ring the doctor and I pray to Jesus she answered oh God, I was managed to able to speak to one she had said you could either go down the antibiotic route because obviously your body is rejecting it or take it out and I thought right okay she said the reason it's swollen like that and the fluid in it is because it had gone through like a milk duct you know like a or some kind of duct and it was blocking it so obviously it's, it's then swelling or there was an infection in there and it wasn't agreeing with that part of the nipple and i had said i'm just going to remove it because if the antibiotic didn't shift kind of the infection area then you know and she had said well it, it can affect things long term so i personally removed it and i removed the other one as well my body rejected the left one anyway um it was always very posse very red very sore certain you sometimes you couldn't wear a bra because the rubbing was just too painful um you the kind of them fluffy puffy things that you use in the shower i remember catching it on that and head butted the shower door and screamed beyond belief my mum came in and she thought what the hell have you done the pain was yeah but getting the nipple done i didn't really find it particularly painful it's a kind of a piercing where you're going through the thicker part of the nipple but i didn't particularly find it sore it was very hot i thought but the healing process of the nipple for me personally was long and very difficult um, so I did remove both of those. Just to let you know that I have, except my two lobes here at the very front, I've had all my piercings done with, oh, and I had the third ones. They were done via a gun, via the Amazon gun. Don't do that. <laughs> but all my piercings are done via a needle. And I get pierced at the other side, piercing studio. I'll put it on the screen now in Belfast. Um, to me, he is the best. He does all my piercings. My mum 
actually went and got her top of her ear pierced and she's delighted with it um, she's had no bother with it considering it was top of the year so yeah all is well i think i'm going to get that one done next and that probably will be me for a little while although i did see a girl going talking through her piercings and she had a smiling done smiley she said it was very painless and quick and easy um but it kind of fit the enamel on the teeth and i've got braces so i don't really want to affect anything to do with the teeth but yeah i think that is my updated piercing video done for now that's basically everything i've had pierced everything i've had removed um if you want to see kind of a pain scale go to my previous video i talked through pain levels um the rook was my newest one i would say for piercing five healing process for me personally three um and then this one here i would say was nippy enough six i would say for piercing and healing two one even it was absolutely fine so yes um for cleaning my piercings i just use saline so kind of salt and water make sure your salt hasn't got a certain um thing in it i can't remember what it is but i'll put it on screen it can it has to be a certain salt make sure they are perfectly clean do not touch your piercings with your hands your hands are filthy make sure they're lovely and clean try and avoid sprays near them hairspray perfume face tanning spray setting spray all of that anything gets into that fresh wound it will not do it any good whatsoever um but yes also the jewelry in my ears is all from regal and rose um regal and rose i'll have them on the screen i'll have them linked down below as well for you that's where all my jewelry is from but Thank you so much for watching this video I'll give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you already haven't um i hope you guys enjoyed this kind of video and i hope to see you in my next one bye